Montvale Baptist Church devotional for Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020, from Call to Glory, Acts 8, 23. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Philip preaches the gospel in Samaria, and Simon, the former sorcerer, gets saved and baptized. Peter and John come later and lay hands on the believers, and they receive the Holy Spirit. Simon wants this power and offers them money to have it. Peter rebukes Simon and reveals something that believers even today must deal with. First, Peter said, Thine heart is not right with God. Simon looked like other believers, but his heart was not right with God because he was not totally surrendered to God. But Peter said, Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness. Confess sins that you are capable of committing, not just the ones you remember. Over-confession should be our goal. Peter followed that by saying, I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness. Simon previously had power through his sorceries. Now, nothing. Peter sensed his bitterness. Gall is a substance produced in the liver for the purpose of aiding the breakdown of food in the digestive tract. It is akin to acid. Peter sensed that he was eaten up with this acid of bitterness deep within him. In Matthew 12, 34, Jesus says to the Pharisees, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Have you had, ever had something taken away from you, and now, at the mere thought of that thing or person, your belly begins to churn with anger about it? My friend, you too are in the gall, the acid of bitterness. As gastric juices disintegrate the food put into the belly, so does bitterness disintegrate the very fibers of your soul. Recognize it, confess it, get right about it. Ask God to expel that acid from your heart and heal you. Only God can rub his hand upon your aching soul and cause your soul wound to be healed and the scar to disappear, leaving only a painless memory in your mind. Father, we too hold on to so many things that we should let go. We need to trust you more. We need to know that you give us everything. We need to forgive others as you have forgiven us. Father, give us that kind of heart and that kind of desire. In Jesus' name, amen.